Young Well um, is about working with um, adults with disabilities um, to find the right place for them. One of the first things I do is work with social worker um, to ascertain the assessment of needs. And the social workers I've worked with have been absolutely cracking and um, have seen yeah, that that's what we need to do. So it's working with that individual and the social worker so that um, everybody's seeing it from the same page. And the first thing we need to look at really after um, the assessments of need has been addressed is money. So you're going to have to have money. You need money to, to buy a cooker, you need money for, for all of the furniture. So um, whether it's the white goods like fridges, washing machines, but you need something to sit on and definitely needs a tally. Lots of people are very surprised at how much money they didn't realise they had until they start looking at how much they've actually spent. Look at Homes for You, social housing. Unfortunately, the waiting list on Homes for You is um, very, very, very long. Um, especially if it's a single person looking for a one bedroom uh, flat. Private renting can be um, a long drawn out experience as well because um, most of the adults that I've worked with or every adult I've worked with will be in receipt of housing benefit if they have their own place. So we've had to do a lot of work with letting agents um, who have been um, very accommodating to us. Sometimes you don't want to go into independent living straight away, you're not ready for it. And looking then into um, adult placement. It's not just about, oh, I want to move and I want to go into my own um, home or I just I want to go into adult placement or I want to go into sporting living. Um, you have to look at what's available, what's out there and you have to sometimes um, do the hard part of letting people know that to this week you want to move um, but it's going to be a very, very long process. It's been a learning process, I think, for everybody that's been involved in it and those people that we have moved on um, have moved on very well indeed. And asked and evaluated, they gave us the double thumbs and, and they got on and moved on great. I started coming to fail people first. Back before it all went wrong with the last placement, I ended up having to leave. I was sleeping on my sister's sofa for about three or four weeks. What was going on at the time wasn't great. I set up my friend, Roz from Bellevue Speaker, was also very helpful. I spoke to her quite a lot as well. Obviously, as I'm moving on well, then I but I joined the men's group back in the summer before it was bad. And then, so eventually, I joined active communities as well. Things were a lot easier. Um, I, 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 with the family on this as well, it's a laugh. Don't get me wrong, I still have my trouble with my anxiety, but no I knew what it was. Because you were really anxious when I yeah. first met you, you were like you didn't know where to go, what to do, and now like you know, a year later, yeah you're in a completely different place, you're smiling all the time. It used yeah. to take me ages to get you to smile before. Much great at the moment, and hoping next year will be a better again. Sullivan, I'm a senior trust officer at the, the Friendly Trust in Cardiff. I'm still working with with a young lady called Lucy, um, and um, she was 
unhappy where she was living. Um, she was with um, adult placement. She wanted somewhere, she'd been living previously in independent, so had her own place. And um, she felt ready to move on, to have her own flat. So um, yeah, Tracy from the Moving On team um, supported Lucy to find um, a lovely flat in Barry, and uh, it was um, yeah a great experience for everyone. Tracy's involvement was was, was fantastic. Liaising with the um, letting agent about um, her rent and housing benefits and, and things like that. It took a while to find a suitable. Um, flat um, that would take somebody on benefits but um, the, the wait was worth it. Tracy was practical support helping her moving because all her stuff was in storage and, and, and Tracy was there to, to help with you know the, the, the removals and and stuff like that and yeah it was it was it was all round support from the you know filling in the forms to liaising with case managers to liatting agents to actually physically helping Lucy you know um, settle into her own flat when when she finally got it um, it's just it's just valuable support that that's needed for for people you know living in the community Hi, my name's Joe. This is my house, and I like chilling out on my bed. I like I like build this tea. Before when I went to PLP first, I wanted to move out so I can get my own place, you know, and be more independent in what I do now, see? Before I never see. That tea was gorgeous. I didn't have many friends. I used to stay in my bedroom. So I didn't go out. It wasn't that wonderful, my social life. They gave me information with, they actually gave me information where I wanted to go. Like, you know, house. And I say, come the road. Set up an assessment for me. They gave me lots of food. I got, like, my own freedom and I can do what I want now. It made me have confidence, self-esteem, more like independent. I do all the house cleaning. The staff like help me do the money and that, count here and all that, and tell me how much change and that. And now I got friends, which made me happy. men's group on a Friday, reading and writing. You club, then a pub. We went like to a day out to Barry Island. going to Barry Island, eat the chip and have an ice cream and enjoy it myself while well, I can make the most of it. Before Joe came to the group he was quite shy and nervous and everybody in the group has a nickname so what's your nickname Joe? Joe Cheesecake. <laughs> Joe Cheesecake. Um, but um, Richie, Joe's dad, has said to me on more than one occasion that joining Vale Peach is the best thing that's ever happened to his son. It just transformed him. We have, we have a rule, so yeah, it's not my group. Whose group is it, Joe? It's our group. Who makes the rules? We do. Who decides what, who decides what you're going to do? We do. So I can suggest things, 
What if you don't want to do it? You don't do it. Yeah, it's, um, it's all about empowerment, and, but it's not just about being confident, it's about being able to get out into the community. That's why going to the pub on a Thursday is so important, because a lot of people can't go to the pub. What everybody else takes for granted, but they would love it anyway, Joe. And I was going to say, make me uh, meet my friends, you know, and I love that way. I can see everyone. I then volunteer in the YMCA. But now I do volunteering in Boba by Iceland, a charity shop. I was I was excited to get a pay job so I can get money. I got my own freedom. Oh. Oh.